If you are one of those lucky people with perfectly clear skin all the time, well, this video is probably not for you. But for those of you like me, who struggle with the occasional to frequent pimples popping out of the blue, especially at the most inconvenient times, then you should keep watching. I'm going to share 6 bad habits that could be causing your breakouts. So what is a breakout? Breakouts occur when there's a sudden emergence of pimples on the skin. Now you don't want to actually get it confused with someone who's suffering from acne. Acne is a chronic inflammatory skin condition that causes frequent spots and pimples, especially on the face and the neck. So you can experience breakouts but not necessarily have acne. Acne is more of a long-term condition and as you can see there in the picture, there are many different types of acne. So how exactly does a pimple form? Now our skin has sebaceous glands which are known for producing sebum which is an oily substance that will keep our skin moisturized and supple. Now when these glands become overactive and start producing way too much sebum, it begins to form a plug of oil, dead skin cells and bacteria in the hair follicles. So when that happens, you get this plug closing off the hair follicle causing inflammation that would result in a pimple. And that white or yellow pus you see coming out of the pimple if you squeeze it, that is a collection of bacteria and dead skin cells. Now here is a great illustration showing side by side comparison of healthy skin without acne versus acne prone skin. You can clearly see the difference between the appearance of the sebaceous gland. The sebaceous gland in the acne prone skin is extremely inflamed and it causes the swelling which is noticeable in a pimple. Now there are many factors that can contribute to acne development including the amount of sebum produced in your glands, the presence of acne causing bacteria, clogged pores and of course hormones. But I'm going to highlight 6 bad habits that you should break in order to prevent your breakouts. Okay, the first obvious habit is having an unhealthy diet. Now the saying goes, you are what you eat and drink. So whatever goes into your body often is reflected in the health of your skin. Research has shown that your diet plays a significant role in acne development. So if you are guilty of chowing down on fast food regularly or you have a huge sweet tooth just like me, you are increasing the chances of breaking out. Certain foods such as dairy products, fast foods and refined carbohydrates, this includes white flour, pasta, white rice and then also sweet beverages and sweeteners like syrups. These are at the top of the list for causing breakouts. A diet rich in these foods, especially the refined sugars, they actually increase your blood sugar and insulin levels in our blood and this causes certain hormones known as androgens to actually be overactive therefore causing an increased production of sebum and actually promoting the growth of skin cells, which all contribute to breakouts. So as hard as it may be to stay completely away from these delicious foods, it makes sense to really consider changing our diets to include more unprocessed foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean meats, and of course drinking plenty of water. This is essential if you want to have clearer skin. Now let's move on to the second bad habit that can be causing your breakouts. Touching your face. Okay, let's be real, we are all guilty of this at some point. It's kind of impossible not to touch our face at some time throughout the day. From scratching an itch, trying to get hair out of our face, rubbing off sweat that's building up, or even picking at a pimple that's already there. But touching our face increases our exposure to all types of bacteria that our hands carry. And this habit can actually contribute to breakouts. So we should really try to keep our hands off of our faces as best as we can. Probably won't be that easy but it's worth the try. Now aside from keeping our hands off of our faces, we should also aim to keep our hair away from our face as well. So that is the third bad habit. So really think of it, our hair contains all kinds of natural and applied oils and moisturizers. So all this greasy stuff can rub off on our face and lead to clogging pores. Remember aside from bacteria, a major role in blocking our pores is oil. So I know as important as it is to have our hair looking cute and stylish, I'm sure keeping our skin clear is even more important. So we may want to keep that hair out of our face. The fourth bad habit is sleeping on dirty pillows. Think about it. When was the last time you even washed your pillow? 
We regularly wash our sheets and the pillowcases, but the actual pillows often get neglected and build up with so much oils and dirt and sweat and germs that can actually seep through the pillowcases. And if we sleep with our faces directly on the pillow, we could be getting so much nastiness transferred to our skin. Most of us probably figure that having the pillowcase covering the pillow would counteract that, but not quite. So Carnet experts, they say you should wash your pillows every three months and replace them at least every six months to three years, depending on the type and quality of your pillow. So that's something to really consider doing to make sure we don't get dirt and sweat and all that nasty stuff transferred to our faces. So moving on to the fifth habit, falling asleep in makeup. So if you like to wear makeup daily or only for special occasions, one rule of thumb you should remember is to wash your face before hitting the sacks. Makeup is a prime culprit in clogging our pores and encouraging acne breakouts, particularly if worn for long periods of time. And even more so during the night when we are sleeping. At night our skin tends to go into repair mode and should be allowed to breathe properly while we are sleeping. So the next time you may be tempted to crash into your bed after coming home from a late night party or whatever event, make sure to wash all that makeup off. It may take some time but it will be worth it in the end and your skin will thank you for it later. Now speaking of washing off all that makeup from your face before bed, going days or even weeks using the same dirty makeup brushes and sponges could be another bad habit causing you to break out. Can you imagine the amount of bacteria, dust, oil and dead skin cells that accumulate in those filthy bristles of your brushes? Not only can you increase the risk of clogging your pores and getting a breakout, but you are also increasing the chances of getting a staphylococcus infection or even conjunctivitis, that is pink eye. To avoid bacterial infection on your face, it is recommended by most experts to wash your makeup brushes and sponges at least once a week. But if you really want to be sure that you are not rubbing any bacteria or dirt into your face, you may want to consider washing them after every use. It's better to be safe than sorry. Now, whenever you do experience a breakout, I know it may be tempting to pop those pimples to speed up the process of getting rid of them, but it is not wise to pop or squeeze a pimple, especially if the whitehead of it hasn't properly come to surface. This can actually result in scarring and can even spread bacteria causing more breakouts and may even lead to infection, so try your best not to pop those pimples. What you can do to treat your pimples and encourage faster disappearance is to wash your face with a gentle cleanser usually designed for acne prone skin. You can apply some witch hazel to the skin, which hazel is commonly known to be a soothing toner for the skin. And then you can apply some moisturizer that is oil free. And then finally, use a spot treatment that would contain salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide. These are actually two of the most common spot treatments that help to speed up the healing process of the pimples, but you can also try tea tree oil and calamine lotion. Tea tree oil is actually known for having antibacterial properties and calamine lotion is known for drying out certain skin conditions. So what you can do is use a cotton swab to dab on the pimple with the tea tree oil, let it dry for a bit and then apply some calamine lotion to cover it up and help dry it out and leave this overnight. So these are just some tips for treating your breakouts. Now that you know what bad habits can trigger your breakouts, you can now work on breaking them and starting your journey to clear healthy skin. If you found this video helpful, feel free to subscribe, like and share and don't forget to hit that notification bell.